Welcome back to Lens Studio. My name is Amir and in this video we're going to combine what we learned from the previous video to create our first lens logic. For this example, we'll be creating a lens which shows a mouth state on the screen. To show the mouth state on the screen, we will be using screen text object to show if the mouth is open or closed. I already set up my text object and we are ready to create our first script graph file. To do this, I click on the plus button in the resources panel and search for script graph and select it. We need to add our script to a scene object. I already have a manager scene object in the objects panel. Now I can drag and drop the newly created script to the manager scene object. Cool, now we have our script graph attached to an object so the lens will call it. Now we can double click on the file to open it in the script graph editor panel. Before we start adding node, let's recap and see what we need to create. As we know we want to show a mouth open as the user open their mouth and mouth close as the user close their mouth. Mouth open and mouth close are our event that we need to add and the text is gonna be our input. With that said, let's start creating the logic. Since we don't need initialize and update event, we can delete them by selecting both of them and hitting the delete button on the keyboard. Now I'm gonna press tab on my keyboard and search for mouth open event and select it. Then we'll add another event for mouth close event. Now I'm gonna lay out my nodes to make sure my graph is always as clean as possible. To have an input for our text component, we need to add an input node. To add one, we will again hit tap button on the keyboard and search for text input and select it. Now you can see in the inspector panel, we have an input for our text component, which is named input2. Some nodes have some properties that we can modify. For example, if you select our newly added text input node, you can see there are a couple of properties available to edit on the right side of the panel. With that, we can go ahead and name our input so we won't forget it in future. I'm gonna go ahead and call it mouth state text. Now you can see in the inspector panel, our input label name is changed to mouth state text. Now I need to add a reference for my screen text. To do that, I'm gonna click on the input area and select my screen text object. When you want to add any node, you can hit tab and search for all the nodes available in Lens Studio. But sometimes you want to see the available option related to the nodes that you are selecting. For example, to see the connecting nodes available for text input nodes, just drag the output connection and drag somewhere in the grid area. This will only show the nodes are available to connect to the text input. Now that we have our events and input ready, it's time to create the logic which set the text as mouth open as soon as user open their mouth and mouth close as soon as user close their mouth. With that said, to learn how to set a text in the text input, let's take a look at the API page. To access the API page for the text component, simply click on I icon on the top right corner of the node and then click on learn more. This page shows the description of each node and all the things that we can do with the text component. In our example, we need to set a text. All the properties that you can see here will have a separate get and set nodes. This means we can get a text or set a text for our text input node. With that said, I can see that I can set a text using a text property. So, I need to look for set text node in the Lens Studio. Now that I know that, I can go back to Lens Studio and drag the output connection from the text input and search for set text. If you look at the set text node, you can see there is an empty input connection. This input is called execution input. Execution input are there to tell nodes when this node should start executing. In this example, we can connect the mouth open event. This means the node start executing once when the mouth is open. This is exactly what we want. 
Now if I set my video to one of the Lens Studio preview videos which has an open mouth action, I can see my text disappearing as soon as user open their mouth. The reason is as soon as user open their mouth, the set text node will apply the default value to our text component which is nothing. To change that, select the set text node, then in the property section on the right side of the scripting graph panel, I'm gonna set the value to mouth open and then refresh the lens. Now we need to do the same thing for the mouth close event. I recommend you to pause the video at this moment and try it by yourself. I'm gonna fast forward the video now and show you the final result. Amazing! Now you see that we created our first lens logic using Lens Studio. With the script graph we can create the infinite amount of different interactions by just connecting nodes together. In the next video we're gonna do a deep dive on important nodes and see how they work. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.